Welcome back to the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And back with us after a while is Dr. Jeffrey Rutherbush. Welcome back, Jeffrey. Good to be back, Stephen. Thanks for having me. Yeah, glad to have you back. So let's start with this question. Let's talk about melatonin and especially higher doses of melatonin. Most doctors recommend a half, maybe one or two milligrams uh, before bed. But I know a lot of men in the TRT community are also taking higher doses, like 10, 20, and even 20 plus milligrams a night. So are there any benefits of doing that? The short answer is yes. Let me, let me go over some things. Um, this was pretty easy for me to research. I have so much on this. But first of all, I have two books, one by Russell Reeder on melatonin. Now, he's a PhD, so his research is all with animals. He extrapolated out to humans. Uh, Dr. Ray Shillian I wrote a book, and he's done some human studies on melatonin. Even Dr. Rozier mentioned this oncostatic uh, capabilities in high doses. However, this is the book on integrative oncology that Dr. Uh, Wheel uses in his integrative studies at University of uh, Arizona. And let me, um, let me reassure you that in his and this book is always recommended that 20 to 40 milligrams was successful in every cancer study he's ever looked at. So the, his range was 20 to 40. Obviously, the bottom is, is 20, right? So yeah. that's where I got the 20 milligrams as a foundation. However, when I attended, when I attended a uh, lecture at the... Uh, a4M conference uh, back in 2004, actually. Um, a Dr. Ron Rothenberg gave a lecture on vitamin D and melatonin. And believe it or not, he cites studies that were routinely in a range of 20 milligrams up to 700 milligrams a day. So his studies, his research indicated that the minimum dose for, uh, for cancer treatment or prevention is 20 milligrams and studies have gone up to 700 milligrams a day and the good thing is there's no downside to melatonin so it's, it's completely innocuous okay now so, yeah let me go ahead talk a little more about melatonin there's a physician i trained under some years ago and his name is dr dan purser he wrote a book on it and um, believe it or not, these are some exciting things that he's discovered. Now, he's done, I'm not a researcher. Okay, I'm a clinician. But doc, Dr. Purser is a researcher, and so have the other people I've mentioned. Now, the good thing about melatonin so far, as I've already mentioned, there's no contraindication, no absolute contraindication. All right? Relative contraindications are arthritis, bad arthritis, autoimmune disease, and of course, pregnancy in high doses. Um, for some reason, he says that you can always increase melatonin by diet, and believe it or not, um, pistachios and uh, tart cherries are the two food sources with the highest content of natural uh, melatonin. But one of the things I want to mention here is not only does it improve sleep, we all know that, using to treat jet lag and so forth, but he's used it to treat narcolepsy. Mm -hmm. um, it improves the endocrine function and your immune system. There are studies touting it for e decrease your risk of breast cancer, decrease your risk of prostate cancer, uh, decrease the risk of colon cancer. Um, one of the pearls that Dr. Pearls that Dr. Uh, Purser uses is um, he feels as an excellent supplement for both men and women with hypertension. 
essential hypertension. You can, you can reduce blood pressure by titrating up doses of melatonin. It's also good for decreasing your nocturia, which is nighttime having to get up and go to the bathroom. You take certain doses that can minimize your nocturia, treat interstitial renal disease. Uh, it, ex it increases the expression of superoxide dismutase, um, peroxidase, and glutathione. That's why it's such a strong antioxidant. Um, and believe it or not, at 20 milligrams, which we, we know now is the low end of the on oncostatic and, uh, treatment, at 20 milligrams at bedtime, it's the only drug, medicine, or hormone that will increase platelets. Mm -hmm. So if you have a patient with ITP, you know, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, or just the average Joe that comes in with numbers of low platelets, he's used it successfully to increase your platelet count. Um, not only that, but a trick that he has used, Dr. Purser again, it can slow down your the hair. Okay, you get older, our hair turns gray sometimes. He found out that in regular doses of melatonin, it can slow down your hair from turning gray. And not only with that, it can make your hair go back to your original color. Say you were a brunette and your hair is turning gray, then higher doses of melatonin can maintain your, I guess, God-given or birth uh, hair color, which is significant. Uh, I've noticed I mean, personally that my sideburns are getting somewhat you know, gray, um, but with my dosing of melatonin, uh, it has not gotten any worse. In other words, I haven't grayed out anymore. Mm -hmm. Or some women might like that if their hair is turning gray, they might want to use some melatonin to prevent that. Um, but again, there's so so much literature on it. I, it was hard for me to find, uh, at least in my, in my library, books that didn't tout its oncogenic uh, factors at 20 plus milligrams per day and up. Right. Yeah, well, that's fantastic because I've had a lot of comments under other different videos where we already mentioned higher doses of uh, melatonin and we always get the same um, comments saying, are you sure, 20 milligrams? Uh, isn't that a zero too much? Isn't it two milligrams and so on? So we finally have uh, the sources where you can find them. Now, Dr. Purser, who has that book that I'm quoting you from, all these splendid things he's discovered, he thinks that the high dose should be 45 milligrams uh, at night. Mm -hmm. um, like I say, uh, I don't. I take the usual 20 to 30 every night. Um, I haven't found any anything uh, different, but again, if, if you go up to 700 milligrams per day, uh, to me, that'd be very expensive. I don't know who could buy melatonin in such bulk, but I guess it can be purchased in bulk, but uh, that's a lot. 700 milligrams a day, according to Dr. Ron Rothenberg, his research indicates that there's no contraindications or no side effects, even at that dose. But again, I don't think you need to take 700 milligrams uh, a day. I think it's overkill. So no long-term side effects as well? No, sir. But again, back to, back to the, the magic interval there. I think 20 to 40 as per um, Dr. Andrew Wheel, integrative oncology, he mm -hmm. mentioned 20 to 40 is great for, for cancer. So you want to use the least amount of a, of a hormone or supplement that should get the job done. So I wouldn't go any higher than 20 to 40. Mm -hmm. I will put the link in the description of this video to NP Labs, that's the international pharmacy that I use in Greece uh, to order my testosterone cream, but they also have uh, compounded 20 milligram melatonin capsules, so that's what I take at night as well. All right, did you get a good price for it? It's uh, 90 euros, so that's 90 dollars really, for 150 capsules of 20 milligrams. It's a price then, that's heavy. Yeah, you know, four months. Yeah. Four, four and a half months. Yeah, four and a half months for 90 euros. So that's not too bad. So it's at NP Labs and they ship worldwide. So. Uh